Hey guys, how's it going? This is Instafiz, and welcome back to the spirit mod for Terraria. Now, for today, I wanted to fight the... What's it called? The Ethereal Umbra, or something like that. That's like the last boss. Well, not the last boss, obviously. Though there's still plenty more bosses we're gonna fight. But it's a boss we really need to defeat. After we kill them, we need to focus on the twins. And then we'll have our all the mechanical bosses done. So, I need to craft more arrows for... I need to craft more ammo, basically. I need more arrows, and I need more... I just need more bullets. We need a lot more things. Point being... In fact... I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. These arrows. Don't really think I should have them on me. We'll quick stack them. I don't think I have flaming arrows in any of my chests. No, we don't. Let's make some more arrows. What we can do is buy some more arrows from this fellow right here. Then we can craft those into Icor arrows. I think you need to do it at an anvil, correct? Gosh, those ducks are annoying, huh? Eh? Like, they are really annoying. We'll need to buy some more arrows, of course. We'll need to buy a lot more arrows. Now that that's done, we need to go ahead and buy some musket balls. So that we can craft some more i bullets. There. That should do everything good. Now we'll have to put some things away, like weapons and ammo, and I, we might be ready to fight this thing. I could go ahead to our arena in the spirit biome, because it must be fought in the spirit biome. Um, I'm pretty sure I have some more day bloom. Um, wait, I have water bottles, right? I don't have water bottles, okay, um, we'll just grab some day bloom. We need iron. Or lead we can take a piece of lead or but we also need pink root and we need cacti just one piece and then we can just grab this we should be good to make some potions all we need to do is head in here and make these water bottles and then, we'll head to our bottle, and make these potions, and we should be good. All we have to do is head to our arena that we use to fight Vinerath Bane from the, like, in the Reach Biome, but the Spirit Biome kind of overtook the Reach Biome, so that arena will also do for fighting this boss. We'll meet you back. Guys, we made it just in time. Let's do do this. Yes! 
That was close. Oh my god. That was really close. I should have used like a better ranged weapon right there. Maybe the bow would have been useful. Oh lord. That was a close fight. And how did I get a mechanical eye from that? Did my buffs run out? I no, they didn't run out. Huh. Okay. That was a really close fight, and we got a mechanical eye, so we can fight the twins the next night. Perfect. Wisp Staff. We also got Spear Bars. What else do we get? Ethereal Ember. I forgot about that. Alright. Let's head home. That was really clutch near the end. Uh, really clutch. Now, the things I wanted to craft. I need to remember what that was gonna be. Um, if we just place the Ethereal Ember right here. All the complicated stuff. Spirit. Cloak of Spirit. Um. Wait, what's this? A melee damage. A runic drill. Pickaxe has a lot of pickaxe power. Although we already have something with equal pickaxe power. Um, yeah, the spirit spear is what I wanted to craft, actually. Hang on. Yeah, spirit spear. That is what we need. Um, where is it? Right here. Unpleasant? That means it actually is pleasant. And, what do we need this to replace? Possibly this. Maybe we can say goodbye to that. That's a neat spear. That is a really neat spear. So, accessories. No, you go in the weapons and ammo chest. And we're good. Now, I have to get a reminder of what else I wanted to craft with these spirit bars, and then I'll meet you back. Oh no! Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. The solar eclipse? At this time of year? At this time of day? In this part of the country? Localized entirely within this mod? Yes! Oh no. I don't think now's the good right time. I remember back in Aurora Realms. I, this would happen so much. Also, this spear is something else. Back when there was- back in Aurora Realms, we had the worst luck with solar eclipses. But, hopefully we can catch a Mothron. Yeah, a Mothron, so then we can get the I Cthulhu yo-yo, or maybe a Terra Blade. A Terra Blade would be sweet. I should probably craft the Excalibur, actually. That's something I should do. Flying knife, you all. Or maybe a Death Sickle. That would be sweet. A Death Sickle would be sweet. We're done. We're finally done. I got no... Scythe, demon scythe, I don't know. No, no, that's a another type of weapon. A death sickle. I didn't find a death sickle. In fact, I never even saw an enemy that dropped the death sickle. I also never found the Mothron. Oh well, I mean, we're done. Let me rearrange this a little bit. But do you want to know what sucks? It is now the next night, it is now the next day. Meaning that I have to wait an even other night for me to fight who I want to fight. It sucks. It sucks a lot. But I guess we'll have to deal with it. We can use the time to prepare. Okay, still want to rearrange this a little. There we go. Just testing this out. It's a little crowded. Oh, whatever. 
place the bottle down. There we go, the Tinkerer's Workshop is in a good spot. Actually, no, I know a better spot it can be in. Because that's like taking up a little space right here for the doors. No, you don't go there. So, we're gonna place the chair back to its original position. And then, what we're gonna do is fly up here and place what we need to place. So, your table, Miss Nurse, is gonna go right here. Your chair right there. And then, your Tinker's Workshop. There we go. Now I need to put all this money away. There we go. There we go. Everything's good now. And the rain cleared. So, I think we should restock on our bullets. Weapons and ammo. We'll get this back. And this back. I'm gonna restock. And I also need to make some potions, so I'll meet you back. Alright guys, here we are. We're gonna start on the sky bridge now. We're gonna have to like build out a few blocks this way before placing our stone. And get these people out of the way, of course. Alright, so that's our first stone block. No, we just have to, like, backtrack a little. Oh yeah, get rid of you, of course. We're gonna have to place a lot of torches along the way. And I forgot, I... Who was that? Is that like a Martian or something? He just fell from the sky. Oh well. Anyways, yeah, we're just gonna build this bridge. After that, we're gonna need to make some more potions. We'll meet you back. Guys, we're almost done with the sky bridge for the twins. That's more like it. So we're gonna place some torches along the way. Alright, and then we're gonna craft some potions. Now I have supplies for potions. The usual awesome trio. Iron skin potion, swiftness potion, regeneration potion. Now... Uh, what we're gonna do is get ready. There's still some more precautions we have to take. Well, actually, no, we're all set. We have to wait for nighttime to come, but I figured while I'm waiting for that, I think I should really add more houses. This giant wooden box. I'm not a big fan of building in Terraria. Like, I can't really afford too many house ideas. Everyone's a lot better at that than I am. I prefer, like, a giant wooden box. Not a sloppy wooden box where I, like, stack boxes on top of each other in a very disordered way. I like to make it an even wooden box in the perfect shape, and I think it's good enough. So, that's about it. I'm just gonna add more houses while I wait for my time to come. We're all set, guys. Just finished some houses. L a minute and some away from nighttime. We'll get ready. We'll head to our sky bridge. Nighttime is here. It's basically here. A few seconds away. Let's do this. Essences are bursting, huh? 
Does that mean the dungeon is upgraded? Oh my goodness. Well, that's done, and that was actually a really fun fight. I forgot how fun that fight was. If you're a new player, if you like fighting them for the first time, the twins can be a nightmare. I remember how much of a nightmare they were. We haven't... Wait, what's this? A new bow? Retin Ranger. Turns arrows into lasers. Uh, that sounds awesome. Um, I want to craft an Excalibur first thing. Now that we have the Scal Excalibur crafted, I want to see what these twins' blueprints can craft. Oh yeah, guide, 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 guide. My man. Twins' blueprint. A spazlong. Turns gel into cursed flames? So it's like a better version of the flamethrower? <laughs> oh my... Oh my lord, I'm sold! I'm sold! Let's craft this thing! <laughs> it's like the flamethrower, except instead of cursed flame, instead of flames, it shoots out cursed flames! And it has a better range! Whoa, whoa, ho, ho. This thing is awesome! Okay. Replacement weapons. This thing... Wow. That is awesome for sure. I might get rid of this weapon. There. Alright, now we're gonna put some stuff away. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot about the pickaxe axe. But that cursed flames, oh my gosh, you better believe I'm gonna do it. Like, I've been debating earlier if I should have if I should craft the what's it called? The flamethrower. But this thing shoots out cursed flames instead of regular flames. I've gotta craft it, dude. It's a better version of the flamethrower. I am happy. It's a good weapon for Plantera. So, we got 30 souls of sight. If we check some chests... Oh yeah, I might have put them in the useful chest. A soul of might, and a soul of fright. We can craft... Oh no. Oh no. Oh wait, I'm sure we have more bars. Hello bars. We can craft the pickaxe axe. Oh, we only need one soul of each. Okay, so there's no real difference in between these two. Yeah. Pickaxe axe. Another thing we can do is go in our chest and get this melee emblem out, and once we go right here, I think we can craft an Avenger emblem. No? How does this work? Guide. Guide, how do I craft the Avenger emblem? I need five of each soul. Christ's sake. Uh, we may have to fight the destroyer again if we ever want to craft this Avenger emblem. I think we're gonna do that. Yeah, we're definitely gonna do that. Um, I might- actually, why don't we do that for the next episode? I'll go ahead and make the spawner for the destroyer right now. But then, um... Actually, I'm gonna end the episode right now. We're gonna just, um, take our time. Okay, wait, do I even need a floor and hammocks? I don't need a hammocks anymore since I have a hammer right here and a pickaxe and an axe right here. Right.
just rearranging things a little. Yeah, so we can get rid of those tools. I'm gonna go ahead and craft the spawner for the mechanical worm right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Terraria for the Spirit Mod. If you did, leave a like if you want to see more. Subscribe for more content like this. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time!